Here at the Brewing Experience, we decided to do it. That is to brew it. This is where we make our beer. We start out by filling one of these stainless steel kettles with water. To the water, we add pale malt. Then we add grain measured out in the appropriate quantities. Allow that to soak for the prescribed length of time. We bring the kettles to a boil, allow them to boil. Once they finish boiling, we add the hops, which adds the flavor to the beer. After the beer has boiled with the hops in it, for the amount of time required, we turn the kettles off, allow the beer to cool for a short period of time, draw it off into what we call primary fermenters, where we add the yeast to the beer, which converts any of the sugars in there to alcohol. We allow it to ferment for a period of time. We then filter the beer, put it into kegs, which we put into the cold room, apply CO2 to it, and as the beer cools down, the beer absorbs carbon dioxide, giving your beer the fizz. Start to finish on the beer is 10 days, and it's ready to drink as soon as you bottle it. Hey, my buddy, Aaron. At Christmas time, we make this Christmas beer every year. Tastes great. Fabulous. This is six week wine, start to finish. Sits in the primary fermenter here for about three weeks before it moves on to the next stage. We stack our wines on shelves three high. The rack holds approximately 16 fermenters of wine, 23 liters. After about three weeks of fermentation, we add the appropriate additives that, that stop the fermentation process and enhance the appearance of the wine. From here it gets siphoned off into another fermenter where it clarifies or clears. All the sediment settles to the bottom. Then we filter it in preparation for the customer to come in and bottle it.